This is one of our old bricks. This is a three piece, unpolished, raw, just pure utility bricks. Actually, that's backwards. I think, yeah, it goes like this. And there's another piece over here. So I don't know how much will fit in this. I never did that test. So 10, 20, 30. Fifty, sixty. I'd say easy. Seventy, no problem. I think maybe eighty. I don't know. Let's try. Let's see if this fits. I don't think it's gonna hold any. But you know, what? let's see if we can force it. I've never filled this one to see how much it will hold. I just have a bunch of random old money in it. So now we're gonna see how much it will hold. We'll get 80 in it now, so maybe it goes, maybe it'll close, maybe it won't, I don't know. This is one of the very first ones we ever made. You think? Right. And you can stick that one in the bathroom and forget about it. It holds 80,000. I didn't think it would, to be honest with you. Wow. So this three level one is you just wait again. the idea. behind the survival brick. So we'll use this as the template or prototype. This one's a little bit too small because I want it to hold 100,000. Uh, but this is basically it. And I think the, the base model is gonna look just like this, just raw aluminum, nothing fancy, uh, no powder coating, no engraving, just, it'll probably say survival brick on the inside, that's about it. So I'm impressed. I didn't think it would hold it. I guess I could have just measured it to figure it out, but. I don't know if I'll post this video or not, but if I do, mark my words, there's some wacky stuff happening in America right now. You better have your shit together, boys and girls. If you got a bug out, this is a nice little thing to have as a backup. Now this one just holds cash. I just came up with the idea for one that's gonna hold gold, silver, and cash. I'll show you that in a second. So the idea for another one is this right here. So this will be the drawing for it. There'll be four slots here that go all the way down so you can fit 20 silver coins. It'll be 20, 40, 60, 80. And then three slots for gold, 20, 40, 60. So that's about 120,000 in gold you can fit in it. And 80 silver coins, it's not worth very much, but if the shit hits the fan, 
and you're trading in gold and silver, uh, you, you're going to need some silver. Otherwise, you're going to spend, you know, 2000 bucks on tank of gas. This isn't really divisible. Um, so that's my thought. And what else? Oh, and then of course, a finger slot here. So as you dip in for the money, there's a space to put your finger. I mean, it's just as easy to turn it over. It's not really that big a deal. <clears throat> and I want to show all the haters out there that are like, oh, dude, that's uh, that's prop money. So I, d I did some research to find out that prop money actually looks just like this. But instead, it says of the United States of America, it says motion pictures of America instead of United States of America. So I ordered a bunch which in my future videos, I will be doing this with prop money, uh, just for fun. So when you guys say, oh, that's prop money, it'll be true. It'll just be prop money. So that's not currently what I use because I'm still waiting for Amazon to deliver my prop money. So, and somebody who was responding to my haters is like, well, you can clearly see they're all different serial numbers. I'm like, yeah, but that's people. So yeah, those are all different serial numbers. No problem, honey. All different serial numbers. No problem, honey. And I doubt you can get prop money with different serial numbers. Maybe a couple, but that would be a, a monumental task to try to print prop money with all different serial numbers. this out and move these down a little bit first, but whatever. No prop money here. Now, I will confess to this. I did run out of bands, so I had to use some paper and some tape on some of these. So yes, it's all real American currency. And honestly, what would be the point in using prop money versus real money? I mean, the, the real function of this video is to show people how the bricks work. And of course we just conceptualized the new one. So I can't wait to get that one out. We're gonna start production on that one tomorrow. All different serial numbers. Oh. And yes, you can fit, oops. $50 bills fit as well. For those of you who don't know that $50 bills are the same size as hundreds. They fit too. I'll show you. See that? It's a miracle. See ya. And don't forget, be on the lookout for the survival brick. It's going to be ridiculous.